you came across this question in your chemistry exam how will you solve it it is extremely very easy now let's solve together the question says sodium chloride may be obtained from brine by now you can see different options here in this question and these options are separation techniques with the exception of option a which is titration now for we to answer this question correctly we have to understand what each of these separation techniques with the exception of titration which is option a are talking about so we can actually put the knowledge together to answer this question now before we do that we have to read the question again because the question says sodium chloride may be obtained from brine now we have to know what brine is now this must be noted about brine this is brine and brine is simply sodium chloride and water but this sodium chloride that forms brine is concentrated sodium chloride are you following me so concentrated sodium chloride and water forms brine so you can see that sodium chloride is a component of brine so they're not asking us how can we you know obtain how can we separate sodium chloride from brine in general so they're asking us how can we separate sodium chloride from water do you understand so that we can get both of them individually how can we separate both of them because both of them are already mixed together because if we mix both of them this is what we get we simply get you know sodium chloride aqueous you see the right aq at the end meaning that it is you know whenever you see a particular compound and the root aq you know beside it you know that that compound is dissolved already in water aqueous do you understand so then that's not how do we separate sodium chloride from brine very easy now you can see option a is titration do you think the answer is titration no it is not because titration is a chemical or a quantitative you know chemical technique it's not a te separation technique it's a quantitative chemical technique that has to do with the determination of the concentration of either acid and base because we have a very very important reaction in titration which is called neutralization reaction a reaction where an acid reacts with the base to form salt and water so here we actually for concentration of these substance be it acid or base so it is not applicable here do you understand that yeah, for sublimation sublimation is a separation technique but it can never be used here because sublimation works on the principle of conversion of a substance directly from solid state to gaseous state did you hear anything like that here in this question no so sublimation is out now we have to know something we have to know that this concentrated sodium chloride is a solid do you understand but did they, did they talk about this solid concentrated sodium chloride converted to a gas no they did not talk about that so it can never be sublimation because sublimation has to do with the conversion of a substance directly from solid state to gaseous state moving over to distillation distillation can't work here as well because distillation has to do with you know the separation of liquids now liquids meaning that we must have at least two liquids do you understand so and the way it separates it it separates liquids based on their difference in boiling point so here is this not a solid is this not this is a liquid so are they liquids no they are not you can say that at least two liquids this is how distillation functions so it can't work here because there must be boiling point mentioned in the question so for which to know if it's actually distillation or you must see two liquids do you understand so this is solid in this case this is liquid so this is solid and liquid this is not too liquid so have more understanding about chemistry calculations and solving all of this type of question i already have them on the chemistry masterpiece okay which is calculations and keynotes in chemistry so if you are preparing to write the jam exam this book is very very important for you now for more information getting the chemistry masterpiece do well to direct message me via my whatsapp number it will be on the screen so moving over to evaporation which is the answer to this question 
you know evaporation has to do with the conversion of a substance from you know liquid form to uh gaseous form listen let me explain something for you it's actually very easy separation of a substance from what conversion of a substance from what liquid form to what gaseous form you know this one is what solid to gaseous it can never be the answer to gas you get evaporation is the answer and let me explain why it is very easy now let's say for instance i said already that sodium sodium chloride concentrated here sodium chloride which is concentrated and is a solid in this case uh, uh which is one component that forms brine is mixed with water do you understand so let's say both of them mix together and we pour them inside a beaker do you understand let's say we pour them inside a beaker that looks like this for instance let's say we pour them inside a beaker that looks like this so this let's say this is sodium chloride which is solid sodium chloride and this is water as well which is h2o do you understand i said that this is solid do you get so basically how can we separate both of them very easy just expose them to under heat under you know the sun so before you know this water tends to leave the beaker leaving just sodium chloride solid sodium chloride do you understand specifically solid concentrated sodium chloride because it is when concentrated sodium chloride mixed with water that is when brine is formed so just take them you know and when you expose it under the sun you know on heating water tends to evaporate that's why i said liquid which is water tends to turns to gas so then leaving just sodium chloride inside the leaving just sodium chloride inside the beaker it can be sublimation because you know if we okay if it undergoes sublimation if this can sodium chloride cannot undergo sublimation do you understand because it's a solid we got we have specific substances that can actually undergo sublimation like likes of uh, you know we have a, 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 a uh, examples like nh4cl which is ammonium chloride there is another which is iodine which is basically a sublimable substance which can undergo sublimation we have naphthalene benzoic acid dry ice all of these are substances that can actually undergo sublimation not sodium chloride i believe you understand how this question was solved now we've come to the end of this video lesson now we've come to the end of this video lesson if you find my video lesson helpful make sure you click on the subscribe button to my channel and also share these videos with your friends thanks for watching